My name is Jan Sladečko, I'm motion designer and for the last seven years I've been working on different commercials, TV shows and even for VFX movies. Right now we are working on big projects uh, for Nike, so there was definitely I use After Effects all the time, even I didn't have to, my work was deliver 3D shots in Cinema 4D. But for me it was really good to always check it in the edit and the timing, so I made my own composition in After Effects. It was uh, amazing for me if I first found After Effects. For me it was really new world and I really enjoyed the time. I remember I was experimenting and I was just walking in the streets and I, yeah, I could put this, I could create this and that could be lightsaber or whatever. And I was going through After Effects for every effects. I was just trying what it does, what it does and I was like learning by mistakes and trying and when I was working as 2D compositor I was heavily using the green screen and tracking and um, it was on my daily base, now it's shifting. So transition from 2D for 3D was quite smooth in my case because uh, I started working in After Effects and 2 and half d and I was then need to add more 3D elements so I started learning basic of Cinema 4D and I was putting like more and more and then I realized I need like 3D collisions for particles so on the end I was like step by step switching from 2D to 3D so, and I'm st still it's ongoing process. The new Cinema 4D render in After Effects I'm sure it really helps in your workflow because you can you can see basically in life what's going on in your 3D space in your scene and you can get the lights and the camera and everything and it can help you instead of exporting everything then importing then see what's wrong then going all the process again and again so yeah it definitely can help you a lot yeah, i mean after effects i'm not sure if i have some really favorite tools i'm trying to be aware of all of them and combine them some some clever way and it varies and change during the time as i'm using after effects i think it's always good to be aware of what the softwares allow you to do and then in some clever way combine it together